What's going on guys? It's Monday. Uh, so right now I'm just doing some research work for the Strength Guys. Uh, Monday is my turn to do some informative posting for the Strength Guys on social media. So Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and all that good stuff. So I gotta do that first. And then I gotta do some posting for Rising Strength also for social media. So their Facebook and Instagram. Uh, and then after I'll get some food and kind of start my day. Uh, I usually try to get this stuff done before I eat because once I start get eating, then I'll turn on Netflix or watch YouTube and I just get distracted and work goes down the drain. So um, I guess this is fasted working. <laughs> um, yeah, so today after work, I have an appointment at 11 o'clock to get my hair cut because this is not working for me. Um, whenever you see me wear a hat all the time, it just means my hair is growing out and too lazy or I just can't do my hair properly I'm kind of picky like that so I ended up wearing my so I ended up having like nicer done hair for two weeks and then three weeks I have a hat on for the whole time because I just get too lazy um, and on top of that I need to look a little more professional because this weekend I'm actually going to BC to do a strength and conditioning and nutrition seminar in Prince Rupert BC um, hosted by Pinnacle Performance. Uh, they actually invited me down probably two to three weeks ago. So I also got to finalize a bunch of notes for that. But uh, yeah, probably shouldn't look too scruffy for that. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. I leave on Thursday, I'm gonna be there for a whole weekend, come back Sunday night. And it'll be good, good to see some old friends and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, so gotta get this stuff done and then I can start breakfast because I am starving. What's going on guys? It's Monday, so it's time for our weekly wrap-up. Uh, so today I want to do something with a 615 kilo and a 442 Wilkes, if I'm not mistaken. And that's... Okay, so uh, I finished all my social media, or most of my social media stuff. I still have to do uh, one performance post for the strength guys. Uh, it's almost 10 o'clock now. I didn't realize it was that late. Uh, my appointment's at... 11 o'clock. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just make a really quick breakfast, uh, kind of being lazy. So I'm just gonna have some cereal, make a quick shake, and I'll be out the door. Uh, my haircut's all the way in Chinatown, of course, Chinatown, right? Uh, it's a bit of a drive, it's probably 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. I don't know, it's kind of crappy out right now, so uh, probably take me a little bit longer. So I should leave a little bit earlier, so I'm not late. Um, yeah. That Canadian winter though. Gross. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Our shake, so I'm using the uh, mint chocolate chip by Mew. Um, I just like the flavor of mutant uh, protein in general. I'm not a huge fan of their products overall, but for some reason, their protein tastes really good, it makes it really good. So, yeah. so two scoops of that. And then one serving of uh, creatine. This is for BCAs. Uh, I just put it my creatine into this container. So my creatine comes in these packages from True Nutrition. Um, kind of a hassle to keep it in a container like this. I just happen to have old uh, containers, so. Okay, it is now 10.30, so I really gotta get going or else I'm gonna be really late and my barber's gonna be pissed off, so I should really get going. No, I don't want no rest. Cute. Okay. 
Okay, now I really gotta get going. Okay. Before, after. Not bad. I'm kind of picky. Uh, I only go to one place, and it's in Chinatown, which is super far from where I live. Uh, I really need to find a closer place. Uh, fun fact, when I was in university for the first probably three to four years, my friends and I would cut our own hairs because we were super cheap university students. Uh, we actually made this group called uh, Friends Co or something like that. And basically one of my friends had a, a pair of clippers and we would take turns cutting each other's hair. Some did good, some not so good. Uh, I remember once I actually cut my friend's ear because I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, I, but then later on, I actually got better at it. So I started cutting my hair for a while and it, it looked not, not bad. Like nobody could tell. Uh, and then it just got too too much of a hassle because like I would have hair everywhere and I'd need like two mirrors and it was, like, I just make a huge mess in the house. So I started to just go get my hair cut like a normal person and just so much, it, it's easier but at the same time I have to drive and Edmonton is not really any place that I want to get my hair cut on the south side unless I want to go to like a franchise place which I'm also picky about and yeah, I'm high maintenance. <clears throat> so now um, got my haircut done. Everything looks all good. I'm gonna go home, grab something to eat again, and then uh, start working on my posts for the strength guys. I got training tonight at 4 p.m. Uh, I got bench and a bunch of accessories. So I'll kind of go through uh, how's my shoulder rehab going and what accessories am I doing. Uh, because I normally go through my squat bench and deadlift and I don't really talk that much about accessories So I'm going to be going over a lot of that today since I can't bench a whole lot um, So yeah Okay, just finished doing some work at Starbucks uh, I was originally going to go home and do some work But it was really warm upstairs and I started to fall asleep So um, yeah, with the amount of time I had left I figured I'd just go somewhere where I can actually be productive uh, so I went over to Starbucks, got some work done, uh, all my posts are done for a day and now I'm gonna head over to Superstore and pick up some snacks because Rhonda said she was hungry and I gotta pick up some snacks too and uh, yeah then we'll go start training. So I picked up a couple one bars from Superstore. Uh, I got the same flavor because that way Rhonda can complain that I got the better flavor or yeah, so we're both exactly the same, uh, but for real, these are actually really good. Um, I actually like the, the lemon one. Uh, macros are 7 fats, 23 carbs, and 22 protein. Uh, it's not too sweet, and it's not like Quest where it's really chewy. Um, it's actually pretty moist, uh, so I really like these ones out of all the bars. Uh, combat bars are okay. These ones are still on top of my list. So now, up to training. We'll go! Through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on We'll go Through the wastelands Through the highways And on and on We'll go guys welcome to another voiceover as you can see I'm back to benching again kind of uh, I'm able to do feet up bench press uh, as I mentioned last time slowly I'm increasing weight uh, right now I'm benching probably twice a week right now and each time I'm adding one um, 2.5 kilos so 1.25 kilos on each side 
uh, if I'm at a commercial gym, uh, two and a half pounds on each side. Slowly, it's been feeling pretty good um, with the uh, rehab work that I'm doing and the additional stretching that I'm doing, it's slowly getting better. Uh, I wouldn't say it's 100% yet because after benching, I still do feel a little bit of a strain. During benching, feels good. Uh, what I'm also doing here is try setting most of my workouts. Uh, so here I have bench that's superset it with dumbbell uh, rows and also superset it with uh, black burns. So with these, really trying to work on my lower traps, making sure that my arms stay parallel to the floor. I'm try Ideally, I want my face to be closer to the floor, but the platform's kind of gross. <laughs> so there's chalk, there's... I don't know what's on there. There's a lot of stuff going on there and I just didn't really want to put my face on it. So I try to keep my face as close as possible to the floor without inhaling all the chalk and all that good stuff. <clears throat> but also what I want to talk about in this voiceover is rest intervals. Uh, specifically, an article by the Sales AL 2009. Uh, rest intervals between sets in strength athletes or strength training, I should say. Uh, a lot of times you see at gyms people train and they have infinite times for rest intervals. Some people rest for two minutes, some people rest for five minutes, some people rest until they finish posting on Instagram, whatever the case may be. So in this study, it shows uh, sets of less than 90% of the one rep max. Three to five minutes rest intervals are necessary to uh, maintain the number of repetitions performed per set without great reduction of intensity. Now, in this research, some evidence also suggests that one minute rest intervals allow sufficient recovery time during one rep max. I don't know if you guys test it or how often you guys test one rep max. Me personally, one minute is definitely not enough. Uh, there's just so much going on with one rep maxes. Uh, you got adrenaline running, you got fear, you have excitement. Th these, these are all the emotions that I personally go through. This doesn't necessarily mean that everybody else goes through, but this is what I go through. Uh, so what the research says is although it suggests one minute rest intervals uh, Psychologically and physiologically speaking three five minutes rest intervals might be safer and more reliable now uh, This research only talks about strength and power athletes uh, This isn't the same principle when it comes to hypertrophy slash bodybuilding um, For hypertrophy one to two minutes would be sufficient according to a research done by Brad Schoenfeld in 2002 10. So kind of keep that in mind when you're training is rest according to what your goals are. Uh, so generally for me, my rest of intervals are generally going to be in the three to five minute uh, period. Usually actually between two to three minutes because A, I'm crunched for time and B, uh, my coach says I have to rest between two to three minutes. So I'm doing two to three minutes. Now back to workout here. So this workout, uh, so this is the next cluster set of uh, accessories. Uh, so I had neutral grip, uh, single arm bench press, and also I was super set, uh, so I do eight per arm, super set that with Romanian deadlifts, uh, three sets of 12. Now with uh, all these accessories, I'm trying to go heavier every single time. So last week I did 125 kilos for three sets of 12. This time I jumped up to 135 for three sets of 12. Uh, that and I and finally finished that superset with uh, kettlebell pillar uh, sorry can't talk kettlebell pillar pull throughs. Uh, these are actually really difficult, especially after the Romanian deadlifts. I'm out of breath and I'm trying to keep my core tight and not let my shoulders rotate too much as I reach over for the other side for the kettlebell. Very demanding for me. I'm very out of shape, uh, conditioning wise. Powerlifters, me in particular, we're not meant for this. Something I need to work on. Not saying I'm, not, I'm never gonna be meant for this, but right now it's just pretty hard for me. And my final cluster of accessories I have kettlebell push ups, glued ham raises, ankle grab sit ups, and dumbbell lateral raises. Uh, this is a giant superset, so each set I'm, or each exercise I do two sets of various reps. Uh, for dumbbell lateral raises, I opted for the kettlebells just because they're already there and they feel a little more natural for me. So that kind of concludes this voiceover. Um, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like this kind of voiceover where I add a little bit of information on there uh, with research papers and stuff like that and showing a little bit more workout footage and accessories? If so, give me a like, share, subscribe, and see you next time. Peace. We are